Hi, welcome back. This is a really short video just to let my dedicated fans know what's going on with my channel because I am taking a short break. I didn't upload a video on Sunday just gone and I did try the new format out on Tuesday for the Apple event, which I will be doing with Will, by the way, when the Google event takes place. That'll be more, I think, more interesting than what we saw from Apple that day. And I also wanted to provide an update on the W Touch by Bridge. As you may recall from my unboxing and first impressions video, I didn't have a very good experience with this, but I do have an update on that. Let's get into it. Right, so I received a few comments on that video and I really appreciate every single one of them because I managed to get it working on my Dell laptop and it was all to do with the drivers that were pre-installed on this laptop for the built-in touchpad. Once I got rid of those, paired this again via Bluetooth and it was working absolutely fine. Just like you saw on my PC, it synced, you hit done and it was working with the laptop. I then rebooted and reinstalled the Dell drivers and it still worked, which means I no longer have a driver conflict quibble with this laptop, meaning it's doing the job. Now, I still have my reservations about the precision aspect of it. I would say that if you bought an expensive Logitech Bluetooth mouse, the refresh rate, the polling rate is much better at a distance than this. You only really get the precision aspect if I place it, say, on the actual laptop itself, and then you've got to wonder, is it worth it? I've decided to keep this though. Bridge have been very understanding. They say a software update is coming and I would never suggest someone buy a device based on what it will be through software updates. It's just not, not a very good way to make a decision on a gadget purchase. I, however, have decided to keep it. It's a really well-built bit of kit. I really like it. And now it's working on my laptop. I'm more pleased with this purchase. Now, obviously I hope it can improve in some way. If Bridge reach out to me and ask them to be a test their firmware, I'd be happy to do that. In fact, they should do that. I'd be well up for that. See if they can improve the polling rate because there are Bluetooth devices out there which can send the data fast. I mean, think Nintendo Switch and the Joy-Cons, they obviously need to have extremely low latency and I think they could pull it off with this. Lastly then, my YouTube channel. I am gonna be taking a short break, nothing too long, just a few weeks. And this is because I wanna concentrate on some work that I've got to take care of. I've got a few busy weeks ahead. I've got a few projects you might have seen in my previous videos, projects that need attending to, and then I'll be back with some new content. I'll also be taking the opportunity to, you know, put some polish to my channel, maybe a trailer, maybe some new jingles, intro animation, that kind of stuff. So I will be back, just taking a short break. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, change the notification setting so you know when I'm back. In the meantime, stay safe, take care. I am the Techno G, signing out.